Hello everybody, Mark Trench today, how's everybody doing today? So this time last year, I had a lot of spiders molt, and it seems like again this year, I've had also a lot of spiders molt. So what we're going to do, we are going to sex some molts, and I'm going to show you some of the teas that have molted. Two of the teas that I have molted, I'm a little bit dis disappointed they have, because they were bred, they were paired, and I've been waiting for an egg sack. Obviously now they're molted, that's not going to happen. One of them being um, Monica, she looks stunning and she is big, but there's going to be no egg sack for her. And also the uh, pumpkin patch that I paired about two months ago is also molted. But Gandalf still has the male, so he's only been mature four months or so, so hopefully we can pair him again and hopefully we'll get an egg sack second time around. Also, I want to just say that in my centipede video, the centipede that I got given to me, I was told it's a, a red-headed centipede. But I had a couple of comments on that video saying it's a Scolopendra dahini. So I thought I'd uh, turn to Venomous Visions, Tony, as he is the master of centipedes, and yep, he confirmed straight away that it's actually a Scolopendra dahini, which is the Vietnam giant centipede. So yeah, so let's um, crack on with the video and have a look at some new molts. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with my tail whip scorpion. I've had this one for about a year and a half, just over, and this is the second molt I've had from her. These do not like light and tend to hide away during the day. But she's got a little bit braver since uh, molting. So I'm gonna attempt to feed her outside of her enclosure. As you can see, she is definitely interested. I just love the way they open those big hand-like claws. And as you can see there, she just grabs the cricket but gets frightened of the log that moves. I'll try again, but this time I let the cricket go. And that was quick. These move immensely quick when they want to. As she grabs the cricket around its face and starts chewing away like a mantis. These are non-venomous. They just grab and eat. Terrible way to go if you're our cricket. Amazing looking inverts. Okay, let's go on to the next. Okay, so next up that uh, has molted is my Pamphibetus mascara. Uh, and by the look of her, she was not that long molted. Maybe last night. Yeah, she looks absolutely stunning right there. So I'm not going to attempt to feed her. And she's nowhere near ready to feed yet. We'll take the malt out though. Come on, give me the malt, that's it. So let's go and check out the malt because I can't remember if she was a male or female. Okay, so this is the malt of my Pamphibetus mascara. And as you can see right there, it is obvious it's a female Spermethica staring right at us in the face right there. So yeah, that's excellent stuff. Okay, so let's now move on to the age inoculata. So there he or she is. There's one thing I do want to check as well, not only if it's male or female, but these are prone to losing their fangs in molts. Remember Fang? That was an age inoculator. And a couple of other people I spoke to as well have had the same experience of them losing their fangs in malts. So that's definitely one thing I do want to check. Um, this one malted about a week ago now, so it could be ready to feed, actually. 
All I'm going to do, I'm going to get the malt out. She may come fly there at me. I mean, though, she's ready to feed at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, she is looking stunning. That's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to chuck in a cricket, I reckon. So I can't be dragging that malt out now. She'll either grab hold of it and destroy it, or she'll just come right there at me. And also, we're about to see if uh, the fangs are all good as well. Let's see if we can tempt her out over here. Come on. Yeah, it looks like her fangs are all good right there. No problem grabbing the cricket. I do need this malt though. Come on. Give me the malt, give me the malt, give me the malt. Please give me the malt. Yeah, look at that. She is looking absolutely beautiful. Stick another cricket in for her. Oh. Colour's looking very nice. The white on her legs looking very vibrant indeed. Can't beat her freshly malted tea, so it should be quite exciting to see if this is a male or female. Um, to be honest, I'm not too bothered if it is a male, because I've always wanted to breed these. So if it is a male, that is actually ideal, because then I, at least then I can, uh, it won't take her too long, or it wouldn't take him too long to mature. And I could be on the search for a nice big adult female. Okay, so this is the uh, malt of my age in Now the malt is a, probably a malt away smaller. But even at the size it is, it should be very obvious to see the spermethica. And looking at that, this actually looks like a male to be honest. I can't see no spermethica. So I'm leaning towards a male right here. Which, what I said before the malt was, I wouldn't mind if it was a male. Because then it just gives me an excuse to go out and get myself a big adult female for a future breeding project. So yeah. So at the moment, it looks like a male. We'll again check when she malt, when he malts again. But at the moment, I'm uh, saying a male for this one. Okay, so... This is actually another surprise malt that is a bit disappointing because if you remember my uh, pumpkin patch who was paired with Gandalf's mouth, uh, yes, she has malted. So we won't be getting an egg sack from her. But hopefully, I was speaking to Gandalf, the mouth is actually still good. So we might be able to get a nice Another pairing. There's the malt right there. Oop. She'll take the cricket down later on. She's just come sprinting out of the enclosure. Grown considerably as well. Alright, if I can pair her again, it'll be much better. She's much bigger now. But the male is actually quite large. Very quick as well, as you just saw. Yeah, into the enclosure. This way, let's see, come on. <laughs> this way. And then we'll just make sure she goes back down to hide. Down. There we go. So we're doing a little bit. Be. But yeah, that's the pumpkin patch. Unfortunately, molted. So I won't be getting an egg sack from her. But let's hope we can uh, pair her up again. Okay, let's go on to the next tea. Okay, so this is Veronica. 
my vicularia and variegator. And yes, unfortunately, about four months ago, she was paired. And we waited for so long for her to drop a sack, and she produces a malt. There's the malt right there. As you can see, it's a big malt. Now, I definitely want to get a look at her. She's on me out. So, I want to see if we can tempt her out. Oh my god. Look at this. Hey. There we go. That's the size of her. Yeah, she is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, that's all we're going to see of her. She's not in the mood today. She's not long molted, so it's a shame. I'll definitely be updating you with her though. I'll give her a first feed. Might include you in the fatal fangs actually. Yeah that. We have to leave her be. She just wants time to get over that big molt of us. So I hope you liked that video. I'll definitely be doing you some updates on Veronica. We could do a nice little feeding video of her. She's looking absolutely stunning. Didn't think she'd get any bigger, but she looks like she'd put on some considerable size right there. So yeah, can't wait to feed her. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.